my Robin with Oxy Dry. And as you can see, I'm cleaning some furniture today. I'm using my uh, Esteem A600 uh, heated extractor. And um, heats up the water to 200 degrees, cold water to 200 degrees. And I've cleaned uh, these cushions right here. Here's the first one I cleaned. Just feels very slightly damp. That's 15 minutes ago. Very slightly damp. Um, I cleaned those other cushions and I just cleaned this side on this one. And this is actually, by the way, is a rayon velvet. This, of course, is the new cleaning head I recently got, which I love. It's a fantastic balance and it just, it just works so nice. And that's so hot I can put my finger on there now. As soon as I pull the trigger, that's like, oh, too hot. <laughs> Now, I've seen a lot of videos of guys uh, cleaning with uh, pad machines, and um, they will often uh, spray the fabric down pretty darn heavy. And I just used that trigger sprayer, which is right there on the left, misted it up my pre-treatment on them, which is actually a revive rocket. And I'm getting dry times, at least on this fabric, it'll be dry within 30 minutes. Whereas I've seen guys uh, you know, um, spray down the fabric and then put the pads, basically set cleaning on it. And uh, and the uh, it'll dry. It'll take half an hour or longer to dry. So I'm actually able to get. This is actually drier in many cases than uh, than if I was to use a pad system. At least if I did it that way. And uh, man, I like this tool, and I really like the. It's really fascinating watching the um, what's going on inside there. Notice how I go back over the fabric, and there's nothing. I mean, I'll show you. Watch what happens. I go over it. I go back. It picks virtually nothing up. It picks it all up in one pass. And that's one of the um, reasons why it dries so fast. And the reason is because I've got this, the pressure or the volume adjusted on that machine. It's a 150 PSI machine. But you do not need to clean fabric at that kind of volume. If you've got a good quality cleaning product, and especially if you've got the heat, uh, you don't need to uh, be pumping all the water into the fabric. And the, the, with the internal jet that this has, we call this, uh, actually they call this the stealth, stealth wand. I got it from Clean Clip Supply in Toronto. And um, it's an internal jet. And I call this the TSC, or Total Solution Control uh, Cleaning Head because it and, and the key in my opinion after decades of doing this the key to being successful at uh, cleaning furniture is precision and that's why I like this uh, the way these these heads work and I, I prefer the head I do have the uh, sapphire scientific head and, and I like it but this is definitely better it's more comfortable and easy to operate ergonomically it's certainly much more nimble, it's lighter and less clumsy, and it gets into the edges and corners much better. It's just a overall better experience. So this is basically like a PMF uh, internal jet tool, but with the, the acrylic uh, head on there, which is really cool. And that way I can see the jet. If there was a clog in the jet, I could see that immediately. But that will occasionally happen. I had it happen the other day, actually. The first time I used it, there was a clog in it. So I just had a, I have a piece of guitar string with me all the time. It's actually attached to my machine behind me. And I can uh, just poke into the jet and uh, clean it out in just a second or two.
See? No more water coming up. Or virtually no more water, anyway. So. Dry right there. Very, very slight feeling of moisture here. If I put a paper towel on there, I'd get no moisture transferring on. It's, it's that dry. I mean, literally 20 minutes ago I cleaned that. Now that's what you want. That's the kind of precision that you need when you're cleaning furniture. And that way I can actually clean, I can clean furniture that is regarded as uncleanable uh, with that kind of ability to control the moisture. This is downfilled, by the way, but I will not be penetrating um, into the back when I clean. That won't help you. That will only hinder you, and, and that's when you start running into problems. When you have furniture that takes an hour or two or more to dry, that's when you uh, run into the potential of, uh, well, it could wick, but also even worse is you could get uh, bleeding on certain fabrics and you definitely don't want to go there. <laughs> I've seen that. Get this back behind me here. Get a vacuum release there if you need it. Ow. <laughs> This is in a very high-end gated community. It's actually in a golf course, this this uh, place. So it's worth, uh, this, I guess this house is probably a, at least a couple million. Very high-end stuff. And uh, beautiful hickory floor, which she's talking about getting me to come back and clean. Sounds like a plan. I gave her one of my uh, wood floor cleaning brochures. Get a good chat about that. I'm this is polyester, by the way. And there's a doggy in the house. Usually they've had two, but now they're down to one. A wire-haired uh, dachshund. I've never seen one of those before. Nice little dog. talking to somebody the other day and they were saying that they uh, a carpet cleaner he was saying he doesn't like cleaning furniture and I can understand that it's it's a different a different headspace for sure but uh, I actually really like it And this tool, and you know, having the right tools to do it, I wouldn't want to. This is a fabric that would not do well 
either either this one or this one here, the red one, um, it would not do well, particularly putting a pad on there because of the it's a velvety material, and you're it's more likely to end up getting kind of tangled in the agitation. Some fabrics don't like the agitation, so you have to keep that in mind. And that's one of the reasons I have both. Of course, I have the set machine as system as well. And there's times when I will use it. But I won't always use it. In fact, I prefer, I, most of the time, I prefer using my this machine. Oh, this furniture is like, like you said, it was 15 years old, by the way. So that's actually pretty darn old. Put that over there for now. Doing these cushions is actually what takes the time more than anything, and they can be kind of fiddly. And so I do charge extra when there's extra cushions. I give a rate, um, like a a three seat solid back couch we charge 175 for but if there's like loose cushions on the back they will range in price usually up to twenty dollars because that's what takes the time and you need to charge for what you're doing and I know most guys seem to really be low on price when it comes to uh, furniture cleaning and I don't quite um, well it's really more work than um, carpet cleaning and, and uh, well, there's more risk involved, isn't there? <laughs> so I think uh, pricing for furniture should really be better, more, more, um, more than what most guys are charging. And this, uh, these furniture is not cheap anymore, you know, you, people are paying top dollar for couches and things like that. And the way we get our pricing, by the way, is uh, we do include everything. Oh, there's a mark there. Hmm. That actually looked like a pen mark, so I'll go get something to do with that. I didn't bring it in, actually.
Okay, we'll put that over there. I gotta remember how to deal with that stain that's on there. I will. Okay. So I thought you might find that interesting. I'll let you go. Uh, so thank you for watching and uh, have a good day.